Hi, welcome to Cornerstone Estate Winery. I'm Chris Robinson, the assistant winemaker. And I'm Chef Patrick Louch, the Simply Sexy Food Guru. And today we're going to talk to you about the 2011 Stone White. Stone White. This Which is right is off the shelf. An incredible wine. Here you are, Pat. Look at that. Color, I am so right? excited. Nice, beautiful. So this is a blend of four varieties. We have Chardonnay Musquet, Sauvignon Blanc, which is 10%. The Gewurz is also 10%. And the Chenin Blanc, which is another 40%. Mm. You know, it's got a real tart crispness to it too, right? Yep. Uh, nice bit of acid in there. This, this variety itself is very unique growing in, in Niagara. Um, it's very perfumey, very aromatic. It has lots of uh, honeysuckle, lemon. Mm, yeah, um, that's what I'm getting and when, you, and when wine is, gets older by time, it releases a lot more character, a lot more heavy notes. Um, so the Chenin Blanc is a good aging grape, per se, from a, yeah. from a white it, well, perspective? Like, that changes all the time. Like, I mean, when, even when you open a bottle today or in 10 days from now, it's going to be a completely different smell. Right. And it's going to taste a lot different Beautiful. As well. So 40% Chard Musquet, 40% Chenin Blanc. And we have the 10% Gewurz And the Sauvignon Blanc. And the Sauvignon Blanc. Blanc. So this 10%, why it was only 10%, uh, we actually did a passamento, which is the method of drying grapes. And we used our tobacco kilns and, uh, and hydrated the grape. So basically just sucking the moisture out, the water out, so you get these raisined, uh, you know, grapes. So these have lots of, still have lots of water, they're very thick. Um, these aren't necessarily actually wine grapes, but as an example, um, they look like raisins. And the Sauvignon Blanc was done and we dried it that way, so it's just super powerful. Yeah. It's not a traditional Sauvignon Blanc where you get that uh, lemongrass or asparagus or that cat pea. This is more of... Uh, this is more of that guava, very tropical fruit. So from a food perspective, uh, you know, with, with this flavor and with these, these tannins and these acids in the back of the, in the mouth there, um, I'm thinking of bitter green salad with uh, maybe some pecans, lightly toasted, a little bit of goat cheese. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know, what, if, what do you think, Chris, about like a cranberry vinaigrette, like a that little... That would work, that, that would yeah? totally work, yeah. Okay, beautiful, so like a bit of green salad, some pecans, little goat cheese, like a nice Yeah, then that's a good idea too. Cranberry vinaigrette yeah. with just a little drizzle of uh, extra virgin olive oil. Uh, that would be an amazing salad to go along with this wine on a beautiful Sunday afternoon no, perfect. or any afternoon. Check out our recipes on cornerstonewinery.com.